Hello, Taurus. <laughs> we just destroyed the set. Uh, hello, Taurus friends, and welcome to the Immaterial Garden for your weekly reading. Thank you so much for the likes, comments, shares, and subscribes, and everything that you do to support the channel. Don't forget to like this session if it resonates or brings some sort of value into your life. Everything else you really need to know about the channel and the session is listed down below in the description box. Although I will say this is a who run it uh, session, which is about uh, your empire, your kingdom your your long-term ambitions your career 10th house matters you know about your legacy and if if they even have to ask who run it then you can say you run it okay Taurus so I did want to say how these readings work the weekly readings I am rolling a die and I have created 12 different readings so last week we got a midnight flowers reading so if you are interested in magic or shadow work or anything like that please check out last week's uh, session because we did roll a 12 again today but I wanted to make sure that we're not getting too hyper focused on in one direction because we are serving the collective through these general readings. But if you are specifically interested with shadow work or magic, even if you already watched the session, please go back and watch last week's uh, Midnight Flower session, all right? For the rest of us, let's go ahead and move forward. We're going to start with the Hero's Journey Dream Oracle cards, and we're going to see, Taurus, where are you or where are you headed in the near future? when you f you know whenever that you watch this reading and it resonates with you let's see where you are in terms of your journey of your ambitions of building and maintaining the empire okay let's go ahead and see what are the what are, where what is the overall energy right now where are you right now in terms of your journey all right so here we have define discernment so step into step back to find clarity so it looks like here taurus you are still in a stage where maybe there's been a lot of transformation a lot of change you've actually manifested a lot of things the problem for you taurus is not about manifesting the problem for you is prioritizing how you're going to use those manifestations or use those resources okay without a proper plan or guide for yourself without being able to step back and see the big picture that will lead to basically jumbled ambitions confusion taking on way too much onto your plate or again it kind of makes me think you know in fantasia like the um in mickey mouse as the uh, magician's assistant or the uh, magician's apprentice and so starts you know working with this manifestation with all these you know we could look at magic as like blessings or magic as you know divine energy that is assisting us we could even look at it as the force if we want for to you know define discernment we can play around with how we define it to be honest if it serves our intellectual or our spiritual uh imagination so that we can get a better look at it even if it's not necessarily 100 percent accurate all right I, I, but here with the divine discernment taking a step back it does feel like you maybe have uh, and and you know the uh, the uh, mickey mouse with all the all the mops and just pandemonium that is unleashed from it it's like now it's like you have a lot of stuff you have a lot of opportunities everything's you know sitting on your lap now is the time to figure out after all of this transformation and manifestation uh how do you use these resources what's your overall game plan because otherwise you'll continue to just get kind of buried in all the things that are being introduced or coming towards you or that are you know asking or or competing for your attention so now is a time for discernment in terms of especially prioritization all right prioritization of all these resources you've been granted all right let's go ahead and Let's take a look here and let's see what are the what are the, your overall energies attached to this this particular phase of your ambitions, your career, or where it's headed towards. This is actually good though because divine discernment is thirteen, which is Scorpio energy, Pluto energy. It's like things got things got shook up. It's like all those uh, things that were binding you, old debts, all those things. I feel like they were shook up. You're being released from that, but now it's not. Now it's like suddenly it's like it's been a bottleneck with your manifestation with your ambitions with your career and now it's like suddenly it's like a flood of opportunities of things all coming at you and if you don't know how to prioritize you're going to take on way too much you're going to burn out way too fast okay 
All right, let's let's go ahead and take a look here. Let's make sure, you know, we are holding it upside down, so I'm not gonna present it upside down. So here we have the 10 of flowers, peony. This is the 10 of cups energy, Mars in Pisces energy. So within, you know, all of your ambitions are coming to, uh, coming into convergence or having a convention inside the house of your dreams is what I'm getting here, okay? So all of these these energies, everything that you have been asking for is all coming together. The problem is, is that maybe you could have gone a little bit crazy with it, take on, took on way too much. Now it's the matter of how do you harmonize all of these opportunities and energies that you have attracted towards you or brought towards you, you know, maybe you've been really working on, you know, in, from your empress energy, from your divine feminine energy, you know, uh, cultivating, uh, cultivating, you know, a, hus a safe and, and open and warm and hospitable place for other people to come in and to bring in gifts towards you, okay? And to also see just the meeting point as a gift, all right? But I feel like all of these good things coming, you know, coming to live in the house of your wishes and your dreams, your, you know, the house of satisfaction. But ultimately here, it's like, be careful that the house isn't too crowded, okay? I get crowded house. I also get four seasons in one day, which is a song. Um, I believe it is also, I think it, it was used in Scrubs as well, the, the show Scrubs. So either the show Scrubs or maybe that, that, uh, crowded house four seasons in one day may kind of describe the energies. It's it feels like you have a lot of good things coming in, but none of not all of them. Maybe a lot of them are not necessarily uh, harmonized with each other or would work very well with each other. So divine discernment. It, it is a time from all of this wealth of things that are coming in to make the decisions on what stays and what goes. Okay. Because not everything, even some things that are pleasant, even th some things that will be satisfying, it looks like if they cause disharmony, if you can't find a way to integrate them into the long-term plan, they may need to be deprioritized until, you know, until you have the capacity or resources to go back to them, okay? Even though that could be, in some cases, that could be disappointing. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, additional energies, additional energies affecting you or related to this place you are in terms of your ambitions, especially for the next seven days. Here we have uh, flowers, five of flowers, which is anemone. And five of flowers is the five of cups energy. So five of cups energy, Venus and uh, Mars and Scorpio energy, pardon me. We do have a lot of energy happening with Mars right now because please don't forget to watch the astrological weather report because there's some explanation. There's activity with the retrograded Mars and also with Venus and Libra that's happening that could explain some of these uh, feelings or some of these um, patterns of behavior or, you know, these impressions or whatever it is, okay? With the five of cups energy, though, I do get the sense there is, uh, during this time, it's bittersweet because there may be disappointments. There may be disappointments because you may need to let even good things go if they're not working with with your blueprint, with the divine plan that you feel like you are furthering with your own dream uh, or ambitions, all right? So you may find interpersonal relationships, you know, connections, um, even this dreams or thing, even things that are sweet fantasies, but essentially it is a time of uh, making judgment, okay? Death card energy, judgment energy. And even though it may be, some of this may be disappointing, remember ultimately, even though there's, you know, you might feel the five of cups at times, this is the 10 of cups that you're stepping into, okay? This is what the process of discernment, divine discernment is helping you to move towards in terms of your career, in terms of your long-term legacy, in terms of the big moves that will be, you know, the bedrock, uh, the, the uh, foundation, of all, everything you do, the big things that you do in the future and the contribution that you make to this world, to this society, to your community, to your family, to your, you know, in your own spiritual, on your own spiritual path, okay? And in all of these levels, um, this, this is what makes the, the bittersweetness, the sacrifices worth it. This is what also can empower you to this can empower you as well to f deep, deep, dig deep and find the resolve you need in order to really put a rest to things that you know that you can't bring with you on this journey, okay? Or 
doing this work or to get to the place where you are, are really being called to reach for, okay? All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. What is the, uh, what's the last overall energy here that might be affecting you? Here we have the trees. We have the sacred fig, which is the Hierophant energy. So this is the Hierophant card. This is Taurus energy. So this is you. This is your higher nature, your higher vibration, your higher self stepping in. This is also your ability to, you know... Taurus energy, the Hierophant, can, you know, very, uh, get lost in the rapture of, of, you know, the experience, the connection with the sacred, with, you know, life, the pulse of life itself, okay? It's easy to get wrapped up into there, into that, but ultimately, also, the Hierophant knows how to also take the practical side, the grounded experience, take the wisdom along with the rapture, because often what happens with people is that they are exposed to the rapture of, of, you know, the immaterial, whatever you want to call it, spirit source, God, your spirit team, higher self, that immaterial realm, that realm of mysteries pierced beyond the veil, but they don't always, they're not always conscious of the experience that they're having, so they also lose out on the wisdom. All right. So, and rapture, even if it starts as pleasure, it can become almost like a nightmare when it's not tempered by the wisdom of the lessons behind that experience, the legacy behind, you know, why this, wh I don't know, the behavior, the patterns, you know, the, the understanding of, of the blueprint, being able to step back and see the big picture. All right. So that you don't lose yourself in certain bits and then close out or ignore or miss other parts or bits of, of the experience, okay? All right, let's go ahead and take a look here, but... All right, so now we're going to use the... We're going to use the uh, Tarot... <laughs> the uh, Marshmallow Marseille Tarot, and we're going to just get some messages. This is the um, Material Realm deck for the channel, and... We'll get we'll get some of this, and then at the end, I think we'll get some guidance, maybe from the uh, Tarot Sirene, which is the immaterial messages deck, just so that we can again bring that balance in, temper it out between the uh, you know between the practical, the worldly, you know, having to do with the ambitions and and the money, and you know the achievement and success that is projected into the manifested realm as opposed to, again, the spiritual, the riches of the spiritual lessons that are also uh, part of the treasures of the empire or the kingdom, okay? All right, let's go ahead and take a look here with the Ten of Flowers. What are the, uh, what are the messages related to clarification for the Ten of Flowers, my friends, for a Taurus energy? Yeah, we have the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Coins energy, so definitely there is a lot of, opp there's opportunity, okay? Opportunities, beginnings, um, I feel like there's there's an abundance of these opportunities and opinion uh, and and um, abundance. We have the nine of pent or nine of coins energy, nine of coins energy, which is Venus and Virgo. It's like more than enough to satiate. You know, you have more than enough already, or you're stepping into a place where you have more than enough to, than any to be satisfied. Uh, more than enough resources, both immaterial and material, but it just keeps coming. There just keeps more resources, more abundance keeps coming in towards you, okay? Here we have the Eight of Pentacles energy or Eight of Coins energy, Venus and Virgo energy. So especially in terms of business, of wealth, of money, whatever you're doing at work, you are, you are doing an exceptional job. We have the Nine of Pentacles and we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this... It, are, this is Ten of Pentacles. So there's the Ten of Pentacles and here the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. That's Nine of Pentacles. Nine and Ten of Pentacles, you know, I feel like you are um, getting to the satisfactory, getting to the, the sweet parts where you can savor of the, of the journey, your ambitions, your career, this project, whatever it is. And I feel like if you work for yourself, tons of offers lots of things coming in for you but again your problem is not necessarily about things moving forward you know opportunities presenting themselves it is being able to prioritize all the opportunities in satisf satisfactory ways and not necessarily falling prey to like fear of missing out because whatever wherever you're putting your attention you know you'll be satisfied nine of pentacles you, you know the work will satisfy you the output will satisfy you but ten of pentacles energy you are essentially um it's it's going to it's moving into that legacy that that 
uh, ab that that abundance, that surplus energy. Okay, all right. Which which then becomes a, a question not of how do we acquire. It becomes a manage of. It becomes a question of how do we manage. How do we support. How do we maintain. All right. How do we also maintain structure, order, logistics, that sort of thing. So anything that has to do with, especially if you run a company or if you're part of a big company, those are things that are probably going to come into play. Organization, logistics, back. You know the the behind the scenes, behind the curtain sort of things, okay? And I feel like um, if you if you are on the ball there and you make the necessary changes towards continuing towards long-term growth, prosperity, stability, maybe this could even be like, um, maybe there is an upgrade in security or something like that that needs to be taken into account. Ten of Pentacles energy in order to protect, you know, the... Um, the spirit the data is kind of what i'm getting here ten of cups can also be online for me or you know interconnectedness because it's it's a you know it's essentially a connection a web of cups you know web of information so online security especially or something to do with online securities may be something that's going to help you uh figure out which direction to move in terms of that ultimate satisfaction the ten of cups energy okay uh, here we do have, at the bottom of the deck, I did see the hanged card energy, so that is Pisces energy. So, I don't know, maybe there is, with, with Pisces energy, maybe there is something that, maybe there's part of the budget that needs to be sacrificed, whether it's part of a security budget in order to serve the po the collective, the employees, the population, maybe, you know, uh, the company itself, or it could be, you know, maybe investing more in in security if you have a surplus not cutting out anything from the people though from the from the people from the collective whatever that are involved in this the community whatever okay let's go ahead and take a look here five of cups what is the um <coughs> sorry what is the insight here for the five of cups energy what's what's this disappointment or whatever this is yeah, the, the Five of Cups, here we have the Fool card in reverse, Uranus energy. It could also be Aquarius or Aries energy. I feel like there is something, not giving something up, not being willing to move ahead into the future or being willing to make that sacrifice. Hang card energy, which we just saw, it's Piscean energy, is about sacrifice. Not being willing to do so will cost you, will cause, cause you to be upset. What will you risk? What will you risk if you don't take the action or if you, you're not ready to move forward or um, if you're not ready to make the, the necessary st compromises, steps, or whatever it is? It's sacrificing, again, we had the implied Ten of Pentacles over here with the Ten of Cups. It's coming in, you know, you, you can feel it coming in the air tonight, the Ten of, Pentac Ten of Pentacles through the Ten of Cups energy, but here uh, it's showing up with you know sagittarius energy there's there's abundance there's expansion there is uh growth here there is uh graduation or there is promotion here okay but only if you have the boldness to act all right especially act on your instincts and your creativity um in terms of whatever this opportunity is that or these opportunities or with all of these opportunities it's being able to to spot to be able to prioritize and spot the the best opportunities and to take action on them because otherwise you miss out you know if you don't use that discernment you'll miss out on the best opportunities okay and again one way or another though it looks like it's coming out pretty well for you taurus because you have the nine of pentacles that's that's manifested but here the ten of pentacles is being you know with suggested and here that's what's on that's what you're playing for that's what's on the line let's go ahead and take a look here for the um sacred fig the hierophant energy hierophant energy what is this uh insight clarity for you all right yeah here we have the page or uh, the page of swords in reverse any air sign energy uh gemini Libra Aquarius. We also have the devil card in reverse, which could, you know, devil card could be karmic, could be karmic illusions, could be debt, especially in terms of, you know, abundance in terms of career or um, projects, you know, whatever you're trying, your, your ambitions. We also have the four of swords in reverse, okay? So uh, 
if you want to beat the devil, you can't just sit around watching and waiting and anticipating. You have to act on your instincts, okay? You have to act on your instincts or act on whatever, you know, if you do have a belief that you have a divine plan, a divine purpose, or something that's being transmitted to you, or you're serving something greater than yourself, then you do have to uh, stop sitting on it. You have to take, again, all of this is about taking action. Otherwise, it leads to, you know, loss and regret. But at the same time, the loss, the loss here for you, Taurus, is really getting the Nine of Pentacles, but not being able to quite touch the Ten yet, okay? All right. Uh, let's go ahead and get for divine discernment. Let's see what's the uh, what's the immaterial guidance here for you during this stage or step of your your career, your ambition, your journey. Okay. Here we have here we have the Empress card energy. So Empress card energy. That's what we were talking about. That is uh, Venusian energy, Venus. That is uh, Libra and Taurus energy. So I feel like you've been in this. Uh, empress energy this attracting things in attracting the abundance in okay so that's not the problem now it's like uh we have the two of wands energy two of wands which is mars and aries energy you know right now we do have that interesting energy happening between venus and mars so please watch the astrological weather report if you missed it the link is down below in the description box but here it's during this time especially as mars comes out of retrograde that is when it's like you have to move forward you have to be be ready organized you have to be ready to do what is necessary or figure out what are, what are what things are worthy to fully manifest okay world card energy to close on is what we get here okay close the world card energy can also be fixed sign energy so this could be taurus leo scorpio or aquarius so this could definitely be you know, again, you're showing up as the hero font as well. Okay, so being the closer, getting getting business done. All right, so you've gone from a period of you've attracted all of these opportunities, but now make the plan, organize, prioritize, and figure out what you're going to close on, what's worthy of closing on. Okay, here we have the that four of swords energy, and here we have the eight of pentacles energy in reverse. All right, you've been kind of at a still or you've been at you know you've gotten a break you've gotten some time off you've gotten maybe time to step back and get some perspective but you've been given this time off from from the work so to speak so you can step back get some perspective but now it's time to you know pay attention now it's time to get the plan into order and now it's very quickly moving into time to close on the deal um, to close on whatever it is that you've been asked to, what you feel like you are inspired to create, to bring into, to birth into the world, uh, you know, the empire you're trying to birth or the ambition you're trying to birth as not just, you know, for momentary pleasure or glory or gain, but for the long term, okay? And also perhaps some of you feeling that that is the, the pact or, you know, the agreement you're making with your own divinity, your higher self, with all also spirit source god your spirit team your ancestors okay all right thank you so much please join me again taurus gratitude to the divine to you and all of creation